Okay, welcome back to another CD update here on Metal Bent Chronicles. I'm gonna get right into it. Yeah, so this is basically CDs I bought within the last week or two. You know, um, you know, some from eBay, a few of them I bought at my local record shop, so we're going to get right into it. Okay, so we got Denner's Inferno with In Amber, which came out last year. Of course, you know, Michael Denner is from Merciful Fate, obviously. You know, gotta be honest, the, thir the first three tracks on here are really good. Uh, man, the rest of this album's a bit of a letdown. I guess I was expecting it to sound more like Merciful Fate, you know, style-wise, and have, like, that epic writing to it, but it really don't. It's more than less a hard rock album. Uh, yeah, I was a little disappointed in that. Okay, we got the brand new Alcatraz. First album in 34 years with Born Innocent. Of course, this has the legendary Graham Bonnet on it from Rainbow, you know, from the Michael Shanker group. You know, this is some really good stuff here. I think this is a really good comeback CD. And, you know, Graham Bonnet still sounds freaking good at 72 years old. Of course, this obviously don't have Ingway Melmstein on guitars. You get Joe Stump, you know, who's a neoclassical shredder also to uh, do the guitar duties on this. Okay, I finally got some Manila Road CDs, which I wish I would have bought their stuff years ago, throughout the years, you know. And lately, I've just been really wanting to get their CDs. I wish I would have paid more attention to them throughout the years. You know, obviously, Mark the Shark Sheldon's no longer with us. He passed away two years ago now, which is a shame, because he's a very underrated talent. And it's it's a shame this band never became bigger or, you know, got a proper deal from their record labels or whatnot. We got Invasion from 1980. Very good album. Very good debut. Very different. This has a bit of a, uh, it has a bit of a psychedelic sound to it. Not quite the Manila Road that we would come to know in the future. So then we got Playgrounds of the Dead. This one came out in 2011, I believe. I think it's 2011, but yeah, really good album. I enjoyed this one a lot. Lots of good riffs on here. I definitely need to get the rest of their back catalog now. And we got Mysterium. This one, I believe, came out in 2013 or 2014. It's kind of hard to read the back of it, but yeah, Mysterium. Another really solid album by Manila Road. So now we got some Crocus. Metal Rendezvous, which is my favorite Crocus album. Yes, very good stuff here. You know, what more can be said? Again, came out in 1980. I finally got this. The newest Mayhem album. Damon. I intend to review this. Man, this album's good. You know, it's definitely very dark and grim sounding. You know, the way you want to hear Mayhem. Great stuff. Man, another one that I'm surprised I never bought in the past. I'm talking about the debut album by Trouble, Psalms 9. Really good stuff here. This album is phenomenal. Lots of good stuff in here. The vocals on here, 
and parts kind of remind me of John O'Weaver from Sabotage. Really good stuff. Now we got some classic Thrash Warriors. Yes, we got Release from Agony by Destruction. Yes. What can I say? It's a phenomenal Thrash album. You know. That's all there is to it. Very, very good Thrash album by Destruction. And we got the first Nuclear Assault album, Game Over. You know, this has the EP The Plague with it, too. Oh my god, this is just phenomenal. It's Nuclear Assault, man. What more could be said? Been meaning to get some Budgie in my collection, too. I'm going to show you, show you the other thing I got by Budgie in a separate video, because it's a box set, and I don't really feel like showing it in this video. So, um, I got Budgie's power supply from 1980. Noticed I'm buying a lot of 1980 albums here because I'm doing a big video on 1980 here in the future. I want to get it done before, you know, 2020 comes to an end. Yeah, but this is a really, really good budgie album. Probably their heaviest album. Yeah, man. Definitely been meaning to get budgie in my collection oh my god I forget if this is the Belgian version or the Swiss version I was just looking at this on Wikipedia the other day I think this is the Swiss band yeah but anyways it's killer you know ready for hell again came out in 1980 really good stuff right here definitely new wave of British heavy metal sounding you know. All right. Well, we got the debut album by Tigers of Pan Tank, Wildcat. You know, again, came out in 1980. New wave of British heavy metal right here. Really good, solid stuff. Okay, now we got another one. We got Quartz with Stand Up and Fight. Still got to listen to this one yet. I mean, I heard, I did sample it on uh, YouTube. Sounds really good. But yeah, still got to listen to this album. In fact, this might go with me in the car today when I head out here in a bit. All right, now we got some German power metal. Man, I got to get more of their CDs too because. This band's a really solid power metal band. And this one came out in 20 or 2008. We got Brainstorm with Downburst. Don't mind that sticker. This one I bought used. Yeah, man. I thought this was a really good power metal album. Some really good songwriting on here. Now, it's much heavier than a lot of the German power metal bands. But, hey, there's nothing wrong with getting heavier, right? All right, so now we got some Ingwe Melmstein. I definitely needed this in my collection. This is actually the original CMC International release. I'm talking about the Seventh Sign from Ingwe Melmstein. I'd have to say probably his best album in the 1990s. Between this and Facing the Animal, I think Magnum Opus is pretty underrated too. You know, the 90 albums definitely don't get much attention, but you know, it is what it is. And last but not least, okay, we got Circle to Circle, Watching in Silence. Now this has Zach Stevens from Sabotage on it. And John O'Leaver from Sabotage does a lot of the writing on here. So yes, this does sound like Sabotage, but that's not a bad thing. I definitely need to get their other albums. I figured, you know what, it's Sabotage related, so I'm going to get it. So yeah, if you love Sabotage, you're going to love Circle to Circle. And that's pretty much it for this CD update video. Got a few box sets I want to show you guys in a separate video. And that's pretty much it for now. Alright, keep it metal.